in every point of our lives, we must mainly to attach ourselves to the truth, to be truthful, to be truthful with your faith, with the one you serve, to be truthful with the ones you live with, your family members, your soulmate, your self. Be truthful to yourself. Make sure that you're not lying to yourself. Even when a person is doing a favor or helping someone, you need to check what are your true motives, that you're doing it out of your loving kindness to that person or out of a true purpose, feeling of certain mission to do that thing. And not because you are scared not to do so or afraid not to or don't want to be caught that you don't care or don't want to be recognized or known as selfish or self-centered and therefore you're going to pretend to be something you're not. Try to correct your motives. Try to reset your mind to be honest and truthful. And the problem with that is that it might be that you're going to find that many of the things that you are doing that are good, that considered as good things that you do, are being done by you not from good motives. And then what you're going to do if you're helping someone because you are scared that they will catch you, that you're not caring for them. And now you want to do good. You don't want to stop doing that good thing that you do. You just need to uplift, correct and fix your motives. So speak with yourself on your motives. Try to ask yourself, maybe there is a way for me to correct myself and to fix myself and to start to try to start working on myself to do the good things that I'm doing, but from a higher reason, from a higher purpose, to try to uplift my motives from being based on fears and pressure and all kinds of negative mindsets or thoughts and to try to do the good things that I'm doing from higher purposes and reasons. I think that you will find it much easier to be done than our fears telling us that it will because our fears are always but always trying to break our spirits and to reject us from honesty and from loyalty and from true goodness that is shining from an inner place from our souls and trying to break our spirits to force us to imagine and to think to ourselves that we must base our actions on fears and that the world is terrifying and horrible and bad and evil and cruel and on and on and on when really there are always two options there is always life and death right and wrong up and down and on and on there is always a free choice and even if you choose to continue doing the things that you do out of wrong reasons just now from good reasons it's also something that can be done you just need to choose to be more truthful and more loyal and more honest and to straight the path the inner path that you're walking on and we can do tremendous things we can do great things even if we're not always able to recognize the way to do that the truthful path and search the inner observation to look and find deep self-awareness to the motives and reason for our actions will already as a search of truth will promote and bring us to higher and elevator ways to function and ways to work and to do good things for Hashem. May Hashem bless us to succeed in all we do. Simple personal prayer, hitbodedut, a discussion and conversation about ourselves, about our lives with the master of the universe, with ourselves, will always bring good results. Make it happen. Dedicate time to simple conversation and developing 
higher self-awareness. Pray to God and you shall be answered. Amen.